40 days ago, I decided to try playing the drums despite never having played them before. I recorded my progress from day one to day 40, and here is what happened. A couple things to note right off the bat here, I do have a musical background, so things like music theory and having a general sense of rhythm does come somewhat naturally to me, so keep that in mind. Also, one comment I got a lot from posting my progress online every day was, how do you have access to this drum kit? Why did you buy such an expensive drum kit? Blah, 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 blah. The drum kit you see in my videos is not actually mine. I work at a church and the music pastor there lets me use the drum set every day to practice. It's really awesome of him. So you'll hear more about that later, but just keep that in mind. On day one, I just went to a nearby music school and I bought a drum book for beginners. I know it's called Drums for Kids, and I'm not a kid, but I probably have about that reading comprehension, so this worked well for me, especially in the beginning. I started off by just learning how to hold the stick and doing things like figuring out where each drum is, where the snare is, where the kick drum is, how to play them, and then I just started off by trying to read basic rhythms on the snare drum. This was actually a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be because when I was reading these rhythms, you're supposed to alternate between hands on every hit. For some reason, that just didn't compute in my brain. So I wanted to just use my right hand or only use my left hand instead of alternating hands on each hit. Not only that, but also trying to count out the rhythm in my head and actually play it properly on the drum kit was way harder than I thought it would be. So I had to think about alternating hands, what rhythm I was trying to play, and then actually doing it. It was not easy. First few days I spent just running these these drills, these basic uh, rhythms on the snare drum, and it was a lot harder than I expected it to be. I kind of got to the point where I was questioning, if I can't even do something as basic as this, how am I going to be able to play along to a song? Now I'll take a quick second here, because that really was my goal. I don't think I'm ever going to become a professional, like, world-famous drummer, but I do want to have the opportunity, the ability to play casually with some friends, be able to play some live sets if that opportunity comes along, and so that was always something I've hoped to do. See, I always thought the drums were really cool, but I always told myself I would fail, or I never really thought of myself as a drummer, so I just kind of brushed it off. About four days into this whole thing, I really started to feel like that was true. I'm really not a drummer, and I don't know what I'm doing. By the end of day four, I really felt like I should just give up, <laughs> like I'm never gonna get it. I could hardly put together a beat using a kick drum and a snare, never mind adding in all the other drums and cymbals and fills and all that stuff, so I ended day four feeling like I might not even come back. And at this point I had been posting my progress online every day and I had a group of supporters who were really encouraging to me, taking that day away from it, just like, you know, kind of putting it out of my mind. I did see a lot of positive comments and they encouraged me to just try one more time. And so on day five, I came in to practice the drums and I found myself like something just clicked in my brain and all of a sudden things were coming a lot easier. It wasn't like I was perfect or anything, but I was able to put together a rhythm and play it relatively in tempo and not just my, have my body completely wig out on me and play uh, completely wrong rhythm. So this was really encouraging. All of a sudden I like felt like, oh shoot, I can do this. I can actually be a drummer. The next week or so, I spent a lot of time working on just playing basic grooves and rhythms on the hi-hat and the snare drum and the kick drum. And this was a lot of fun. I was able to play along to some basic songs like Another One Bites the Dust or Island in the Sun by Weezer. And these are really, really simple songs on drums. Not the most exciting drum song to listen to, but being able to play along with them and other songs like Jumper by Third Eye Blind. Jumper was the first song that I taught myself on guitar when I was like 13 or 14 years old. When I was able to figure that out by ear, it really ignited my passion for music. It's what really actually got me on the path that I'm on today of being able to pick up the drums and being passionate about it. So being able to go back to that and relearn it on the drums and re-experience it in a new way just had me feeling a certain type of way. I was having a great time and it, there's just something so cathartic about being able to play an instrument especially along to a song or with other musicians that really speaks to my soul and my heart and that was such a special experience that I never would have had if I hadn't started playing the drums. Three weeks into my experience playing the drums about day 21 was uh, there was a big shift in my practice routines. I got so much support and love from the drumming community, and I can't thank you guys enough for that. But I also got a lot of advice and, and constructive criticism talking about 
my stick control and wanted to, me to focus more on rudiments. And so all of a sudden my practice went from, I had like the very, very basics down, but my practice went from just having fun and trying to figure different things out to really focusing on the basic techniques. I got a practice pad and I spent a lot of time just trying to work on rudiments and stick control, especially on my left hand. So many days of just spending hours and hours on stick control and how I was holding the stick. My left hand is not my dominant hand and so I was hitting the stick a lot, moving my whole arm instead of just moving my wrist. I had so many helpful drummers reach out to me. I got some sticks sent to me for free. I had a drummer send me some videos of him giving me rudiments and practice routines that help me improve my stick control. And I've had one drummer send me a lesson book and more free sticks. So at this point now, by day 40, I am able to play along to a lot more songs. I'm be getting better at learning them by ear. I'm able to play drum fills and play them in tempo. And that was a huge chapter of this whole thing that I didn't even cover. Maybe I should talk about that. But learning drum fills and being able to play those along to songs really enabled me to actually be able to have the opportunity to play maybe an audition coming up soon. I was given two songs by the music pastor at my church, the worship pastor there, and he's gonna walk through them with me in a few weeks, but I have some time to practice them on my own, learn them on my own, and then play through them with him as like an audition, and then if he thinks I'm ready, I might have a chance to play a live set in front of some people. I've been spending a lot of time working on those two songs, and it's really helped to have that stick control and that rudiment baseline and that foundation, but it's also really exciting to see all this progress and have all these opportunities. One of the most special things about this journey to me has just been the people I've met. I've met so many cool drummers who have helped me so much and they've sacrificed so much of their time to help me, just out of the kindness of their own hearts. And they're all really awesome people. I think just as I look back on the last 40 days, I think of all the opportunities I've had, all the great experiences that I've had that I never would have if it hadn't been for me just taking the initiative to just start practicing the drums. I spend so much time telling myself that I can't do things and it makes me give up on them before I even start trying. My encouragement to you would be if you have a new hobby or skill you want to pick up, just start doing it. There's nothing stopping you from learning how to skateboard or play guitar or play the drums. I hope this message resonates with some of y'all. I'll keep you guys updated on my potential audition and I have some other long form content that I want to do here. So if you like this video, let me know in the comments. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I'll see you guys in the next video.